Hey, what is up, everybody? Just doing a quick Facebook Live. I, I put out a post this morning and um, talked about this whole idea called goodwill. See, there's a lot of metrics that define what success is in any field. And one of the things that's most commonly overlooked, uh, and I'm going to quote this from Russell Gray yesterday, but it is this idea of goodwill. Now, what is goodwill? Goodwill is what is your long-term uh, reputation or your perception in whatever marketplace you're in. So I think a lot of people in my world, in the music space, are very focused on the short-term wins, sometimes out of necessity, because it means the difference of somebody paying the bills one month and somebody not the next month. So it's a hard balance to walk, but um, th what ends up happening is a lot of people pick the short term win, they end up doing business or handling relationship in a way that they maybe will regret later on. Um, I've had people, writers coming to me um, with situations and scenarios who say, say, you know what, I've got this deal, um, you know, it's a person I want to work with, but they're kind of giving me the short end of the stick on a deal, they're not giving me what I'm asking for, um, they're not giving me the deal points, they're not giving me a fair song split, whatever it is, 99 out of 100 times, I will always tell them, just do it, work with them, trust the process, and prioritize the relationship. I would always rather have a relationship than a transaction. And unfortunately, in the music business, we often get sidetracked from that, and we, we focus on the uh, we focus on the deal. We focus on what's the short term win, what's the um, chart positioning, what's the um, financial outcome that could come from it. And what ends up happening is, in long term, the relationship gets sacrificed or compromised because you end up doing something in a way that you maybe don't feel is right. And, a lot of this is just really simple stuff. It's just, you know, go with your gut. If something feels like it's relationally wrong, probably don't do it, even if it's a, a good short-term win. Um, we've adopted this whole saying around Full Circle Music that our process for filtering our decision-making is if it's not a heck yes, it's a no. If it's not a heck yes, it's a no. So for a lot of you guys who have been sending us messages wanting to either come to a retreat or work with us, um, we sincerely apologize. We don't have the time to do all of it. And quite frankly, a lot of the stuff that's independent is too much of a gamble for us. So it's unfortunately not a heck yes. We, we, we work on stuff that um, we know is going to have maximum impact, not just financially, but um, artists that have a big platform, have a message, have something to say, say it well, and are insanely talented. So. Um, that's a little tip, and I, I, I can't claim uh, <laughs> originality on that. That's definitely from a Derek Sivers quote. If you guys don't know who he is, he's the creator of CD Baby, um, but he understands this concept of long-term thinking very well. And um, so I just encourage you guys, if you're up in a, a circumstance today or a scenario where it's a little ambiguous, you don't know uh, which way to go, you're, you're, you're at a maybe a crossroads or a pivot, um, I just encourage you to always err on the side of protecting relationship instead of protecting your bottom line, your career, whatever it is. And I promise you that in the future, you are never going to look back and regret that. You're always going to look back and say, man, I'm glad I prioritized the relationship. And ultimately, um, success in business, success specifically in the music business, um, for you guys as artists and writers and producers, is going to come because you do relationships well. It's not going to become, uh, it's not going to come because you're talented. It's going to come because you're talented and you do relationships really, really well. So I was just thinking about that today. It's something I've been really passionate about lately because I've. Um, you know, over the 10 years I've been here in Nashville, the music business, I've seen a lot of people come and go, and the ones who do not last are the ones who prioritize the short-term win over a relationship. Um, so just be thinking of that today, and if you disagree, feel free to comment and say you disagree. If you agree, hit share, um, hit the like button, 
and uh, let me know your thoughts on it. Also, just let me know where you're watching from, and I'm going to hop off now.